Heidi High Campers, welcome back to 30 second beer reviews. Beer reviews that are never 30 seconds long because the beer review is way too good and I talk too much. That's pretty much it. Um, no beer review today because I'm working later on tonight. Uh, work always gets in the way of having a good time, but everyone knows that. So uh, on this blustery sort of supposed to be summer day, I'm going to branch out a bit. We're going to step out of the box and we're going to do a review on a uh, camping fridge. Now, two things, not only two things go with beer, but camping and fishing are two things that go with beer, and that's what I like to get out and do. So, uh, we'll do a review of this fridge. Uh, picked it up last year for 159 bucks from Container Door. Uh, really good bargain, 35 litre fridge. So, uh, let's have a look at it. All right, so this is the this is the beast here. It's a 35 litre thermo cooler. It's got a brand of cool box on it. As I said, I got it from Container Door last year, $159, which is pretty good uh, price for a cooler of this size. Um, looking at the latest uh, grunting and shitting catalogue, you've got um, the most comparable one that I could find in here was a, uh, a 40 litre. They call it a 40 litre transit companion uh, fridge freezer, $8.99. So it's um, it's pretty expensive for a for a small fridge. I mean, this kind of if you give it a push, it'll fit in between your your two front seats. Um, unfortunately, we had the kids in the back and we couldn't um, we couldn't fit it in there, uh, so it had to go on the on the tray of the Ute. But other than that, um, you could fit this quite comfortably uh, in between your front seats or in the um, in the middle of the back seat. So 35 liters. Uh, runs at 60 watts for cooling and 50 watts for heating so you can you can actually heat your pies up in here you know keep, keep them warm in here um, it's got a switch on the front to switch between hot and cold um, clip on here there's a few reviews online that say that this clip comes off and I can honestly say it's it seems okay to me it hasn't come apart um, and we've used it a fair bit over the last sort of 12 months I think we've got it in Oh, might have been April last year, so not quite 12 months. Um, works all right. It's got a couple of handles on it. So it's got this handle at the front. It's got some wheels at the back. So you can roll it around. I don't know how sturdy this is. It doesn't feel very sturdy. I don't use the handle. There's a, a place under here to grab your, put your fingers and lift her up. Um, this one on the back here, she's got like sort of a folding bloody handle system um, when we brought it in from camping this time the kids lifted it up and this whole handle assembly fell off um, I just used some uh, some JB weld and glued that on there I'm pretty sure that's never going to come off I think the whole back of it will pull off before that glue gives way so as I said it's a it's a 60 watt cooling so that's pretty much what you're going to use it for I, I don't ever anticipate using it for heating um, but going by the calculations so this will be this will be drawing five amps when it's um, when it's working so if you work out with your five amps how many amp hours your battery is then you work out how long your battery will last when you're running this fridge uh, we used it for uh, two days up north while we we're camping and kept everything cold the batteries lasted a, probably a little bit less than 24 hours each um, not ideal to run your batteries right down flat we haven't got solar panels at this stage but uh, you know that's a thing for the future um, but other than that kept everything cold um, and just a great little great little fridge so the accessories you get with the um, with the thermo cooler is you get a, a 240 volt plug for plugging in to your mains it's just your standard sort of um, I don't know figure of eight bloody connection for there and you also get a 1224 so it's a 24 volt plug as well um, that just plugs in to the side 12 and 24 so um, most systems are 12 usually for a vehicle um, trucks so truckies that want to use these can plug these straight into the cigarette lighters in their uh, in the cab of the truck and it sh if they're running 24 volt and I think some of the old patrols and maybe this safaris grand roads they run a 24 as well so that's really good for that 
those are the only accessories you get you don't some of the other ones come with like um, ice block makers and stuff like that but honestly you're not going to be making ice blocks in this uh, one good tip when you're heading off camping is to um, I, what we generally do is we buy all our meat that we're going to use and we vacuum pack and freeze it um, and you can do that with anything really um, I just advise doing not doing it for, for lemons really because lemons and limes don't tend to take well to freezing they tend to look like crap when you pull them out flavour everything's still there but they don't look the best um, but you yeah, freeze everything and put it in your, in your uh, box before you go and another tip chuck it in the 240 and crank it right down to the temperature that you want unplug it buff it in your truck and then um, put it onto the 12 volt and then you're not going to be drawing much power off your battery obviously if you've got a, a proper battery setup um, and you're running it off your um, your alternator then plug in this in and while you're driving you're going to be charging that battery anyway um, the top of the top of the cooler's got a, a little window you can see what's in there so you've got to train your children you've got to train them that if they're going to go into the fridge it's a uh, what do I need out of the fridge I need the butter I've got to open the fridge get the butter out and close it as quick as possible so you want to have stuff that you want to access um, quite regularly you want to do that and want to work out where it is in the in the fridge so you're not leaving the lid open like happened on this time where the you come back around the corner and the kids looking in there like this like I don't know what do I want what do I want out of the fridge so you want to make sure that that's closed all the time um, I haven't actually worked out how many beers it'll fit in here but 35 litres it'll fit a few odd you could easily put a dozen and a bit in here and if you're doing cans be even more uh, this window on the top I sort of had my doubts to start with as to whether the um, cold will escape out of here or whether the plastic was going to be strong enough and if it cracked then you'd lose um, a lot of cool coolness out through here it looks like it's kind of double glazed um, but yeah haven't had any problems so far I've just written across the top 5 amps so I know how much it's drawing. So for 100 and 179 bucks, a 35 litre cooler like this, um, I don't think you can go past it. So Container Door are the guys that do, they get um, containers in from overseas when they get enough orders for the stuff they bring it in. Um, it's checked their website out this morning and it looks like they're expecting more in uh, so you go in there and you just tick that it's on your wash oh, sorry your wish list and um, once they get enough sort of orders for them they'll bring another lot in these are comparable to the Australian if you go on to super cheap auto uh, the Australian site you'll find that these are in there um, branded they've got a brand down the side but they're exactly the same and these are sitting at around 299 um, Australian dollars so so a one for one seventy nine one eighty dollars New Zealand for one of these it's good value so um, yeah so we might do a few more of these sort of reviews along with beer just so that you don't think it's all to do is sit around drinking piss all day which is something that I would probably rather do um, got the tiki bars there so no doubt I'll have one coming up soon anyway that's all for today catch you later like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Tell your friends. And uh, yeah, have a good one.